we are in Marathon today, and look who drove us here. Look who we got. Gas, gas, and more gas. That's all we ever do is gas. <laughs> <laughs> we got Captain Dan, we got Dave over there, and we are in Marathon today, and we're gonna head over to Jeremy's house in a second from Real Hazardous, and I don't know what we're gonna do today. We're gonna fish, we're gonna go catch fish. We're gonna catch some fish. Yeah, we're gonna go catch fish. That's sounds like a real redneck there. We gonna go catch fish. We gonna catch some fish. Catch some fish. Catch some fish. Do a little bit of a little fishing. Remember that. Oh, doing a little fishing. Okay. Cop number one. Oh. I'm doing 21. All right. Uh, I'm pulled over up there. There's a guy. There's a lot of cops here. You gotta keep Obviously. keep the speed limits unless you like paying speeding tickets. Then you should speed. We are going to be taking out this 27 open contender, which is actually a 30 foot boat powered by two 300 horsepower Suzuki's. I'll be introducing everyone on the boat in just a second, but we are heading out of Marathon down here in the Florida Keys and heading out to the Marathon Humps, which is about a 25 to 30 mile run. And I'm going to be showing you guys how we catch tuna out at these humps. All right, we're heading out of Marathon right now. We got Jeremy at the helm. We got Kayla. We got Dan, of course. of course. You already know. Ah, you know that guy. Dave, and we got JJ up at the front. He's already scouting for fish, I can tell. He's looking hard. What's yeah. the game plan today? Well, I'm hoping uh, wind's lying down. I'm hoping we can get offshore, catch some mahi and tuna, and see what happens. Um, we got our deep drop stuff, so kind of ready for anything. Yeah, I'm, he's ready for anything. There's a lot of rods. Like a lot of rods on this boat. Marathon, here we come. We just started heading offshore and already found ourselves a, what I would assume is a Cuban raft. That's one of those contenders, one of the older models. <laughs> the older contender? Yeah. <laughs> the first contender, there it is. That's a pretty good cat design. They did a it's great like job. It's like an invincible. It's like a Freeman. <laughs> That's a great prototype. That is amazing. Listen, that is a testimony to what socialism and communism is right there. Uh -huh. That's it. Oh yeah, y'all getting y'all getting real cozy. Oh okay. Oh, we're all scooting in. Here? All right. Oh, this is good. Look, look. Oh yeah. Oh, keep going to the nook. Oh, this is actually pretty nice. I feel like I'm going out with mom and dad. Mother, Mother. I need more gummy bears. I feel fishy today. I think we're going to get fish. I just had that feeling. You want to bring these to the front? Oh, wait, we got room back here. Shove that little tush tush. <laughs> Open some space up back here. Oh, yeah. Do we got a trash corner bin yeah, you bucket right in, bottom right in here? Yeah. yeah. Purple. You got a purple feather out? Purple feather out, buddy. Yeah. We're out at the Marathon Humps now, and there's a bunch of birds right in front of us. So there's probably either tuna or mai under them, and we're gonna troll some black and purple feathers right through them. Let's see if we get a bite here. Yeah. yeah. Fish on, on the feather. Doesn't like that little purple feather. Bye, bye, okay. He's long. He's a long fish. Uh, I can get up in tower. I can maybe spot. Uh, yeah. yeah, he is a keeper. Where's your... Where's your uh, well, Dan, fish number one. the black and purple never fails. Don't show everybody that. <laughs> they might they might buy them out. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, knocked out by a... By a bean bag. <laughs> that was done on purpose. Yes, I you. know they're trying to get rid of me. I broke you. It's easier to just throw me overboard. 
Tuna will chase a ball of bait to the surface of the water, and all these birds are swooping down trying to grab those baits and steal them away from the tuna. And in all of that chaos, all we're doing is trolling two black and purple feathers way behind the boat. One is probably further back than a football field, and the second feather might just be a little closer in than that, just so they don't tangle. We'll probably get a tangle. And we're trolling anywhere from four to seven miles an hour. Birds everywhere. I think we're about to get hit here. We're about to be yelling fish on. Dan's on. Fish on, Dan. No, no, just seaweed. You're back on. Oh, that's a drag ripper. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's great. Wow, the luxury. All right, where are you? You're right across on that all right, I am. Okay, I'm above it. Yeah, he's on there. Woo wee! Good one, right? Is this a, a clicker turned on here, or does it always sound like this? Okay. Woo! Yes, football fields of line out, my favorite. Come to daddy. All right, you know, my style, I catch a fish, and then I watch you guys reeling the fish the rest of the day. I think I see color. Oh. He's still there, all right. I honestly can't tell what he is. He doesn't have like a head shake, but I guess we're about to find out. You would think it's a tuna the way he hit all the way back there, though. Hey, yeah, I see the color. <laughs> Oh yeah, there's that head shake. Finally! Yep, that's a tuna shake. Woo! Yeah! Tuna! Nice little football. There you go, brother. Nice. Right, yeah, that's a chunky, that's a chunky monkey. Yeah, there's, some, there's some sushi there. Yeah, I should do this with you. You hold them. Stop, stop, stop. I'll let you take care of the, uh, the tuna jams. All right, in the bucket he goes. Yeah. Knife. Got ourselves a nice little black fin tuna. Dan slitting his throat. We're gonna bleed him out and then he will be sushi later. Yeah. yeah. It's a wrist workout, that's the thing. It's like, cause you're trying to keep the rod from wiggling. Yeah. Another fish on. Yeah, Dan. All right, Dan. This is the beginning. The beginning. The beginning of Dan's reel. It's a real hazardous thing, boy. Oh, yeah, thank you. Look at this. Look at the baby mouth. Ooh, I see a head shake going okay, there. Okay, okay. See that weed out there. See that weed out there? All right, Dan. Get him on the boat, and then we can see whose is bigger. Mine, mine's not. I feel you holding something back, Dan. You can let it out. Okay, yeah, he's. A... Damn it, Dan's is bigger. The net's right here. Yeah, he's coming up backwards. Uh, catch is the catch, Heiko. Catch is the catch, bro. Well, mm. Dan, your fish isn't working right. <laughs> it's swimming backwards. I'm the net man. Ba da boot up, ba da boot. Oh gosh. Bring them to me. Wait, Dan, we gotta weigh him with the weed with still the weed. on him. With the weeds well, on was, him. That was 10 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go, Dan. Here's your fish. Here you go. Yours, yours. I mean, just. That's right. And then he'll claim he got the bigger one. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way to do it. Nice little black fin tuna right there. Yeah. Woo wee. Ow, they got little teeth. I didn't know that. Oh, uh, where's that knife at? Hello, darkness, my old friend. Whew, all right. Fish are on ice. Fish are on ice already, Austin. Actually, I'm going to do a warm fish. Yeah. Good boy, huh? It's usually the guys that say they're good boys are really the bad boys, Dan. Fish on? Where? Where? Yeah. 
Fish on? Oh, another fish on from the top. All right, Dave. Dave is up to the batter's pitch. Woo-wee! We might have a bigger one yet. Not biting yet, he's just dead weight. That, that's kind of how mine was. Easy juice, sir! There we go. Spread that thing. Uh, hey, that might be the biggest one so far. That's nice. Woo! Yeah, nice tuna. Yeah, looking good. In the box he goes. Where's that bucket? Oh, Dan's got Dan's already one step ahead. Oh, man, we never would have lost this one. Uh, yeah, you got him. Uh, right. Oh, I got him. I got it. I got it. Oh, yeah. yeah, he's a beauty. Yeah. Nice, nice. Man, that's gonna make some nice sushi, man. And some nice poke bowls. That's a nice tuna you that's got a there. This is a good one. It's more sushi for sure. Oh. Homemade beef jerky from Dave. You want to try a piece? Sure. <laughs> Dan's on. Dan, you on up there? All right. I, oh, wow. Are you going it? Uh, nope. I'm not up. Uh, I think I think Jeremy. Jeremy, you got one. Yeah. Yeah. Double hook up. It's a race now. First one to get it in. The last person has to chug beer. Upside down while doing a handstand. Is there a tuna on the end? Oh yeah, yeah. There's tuna on there. Hi yeah. He didn't fully want to get in the net, but he kind of made it in the net. Yeah. All right, there you go. He wants to eat the salad. He's a vegetarian tuna. Dan, quit tickling the tuna. You tickle off, you're not tuna. There you go. Boom. That's a good looking. That's a good looking. Yeah, these are like little juice balls. Yeah, put them in. Woo. Yeah, he's a good one. He's a good yeah, one. Yeah, pretty chunky too. It's not, yeah. not huge, but yeah. they're not like they're not they're like not that too big. Small. Yeah. yeah. Dan's got a fish on. Oh man, that's a drag screamer. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm. I got a cold beer in my hand. I'm gonna watch you do this. That might be a trophy. Down, he was down. One. I don't know if that's drag that was going out because of the end, you know what I mean? Because it's, yeah. or if it's a good fit. I'll get the drone aerial footage from up here. Yeah. I'm looking forward to what this guy looks like. How's your workout going? Looks good. The form looks superb. A plus. Smooth and steady. <laughs> That's right. Man, he was way out there. Way out there. Yeah, I, like, I agree when you're trolling. I tend to have better luck when it's further well, out there. Yeah. Especially for tuna. My yeah. knee doesn't matter. But tuna, probably explains our double hookup. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but there's but color. Right, right next who wants to, right to who, who's going to yeah, net this yeah, guy? Just, just, when you get All right. Can get it or you can get it? You can get it if you want. That way I'm not responsible for losing it. There's like a lot of pressure though. Yeah. Because yeah, right. it's a little net and you really got to... Oh my god, I'm sorry, I almost went in there. Don't fall in, because then we're going to have to choose fish or Heiko. Get the fish, I'll be fine. I don't want to have to make that decision. <laughs> It'll be on camera how you chose the fish over me. This is where it gets critical, folks. Critical! Oh, oh yeah! It'll be hard to put a 30 pounder in that net. Right on, right on. We'll yeah. <laughs> yeah. Reeling it in, another fish on from the top. Whoa. Oh, yeah. whoa, 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 whoa. Do you have any friends? No friends. Friendless. He looks like a baby. Let's see this. Oh, a little baby. It's a little baby. Okay, I'll reel it in. I'll reel it in. Got it. Oh, I'm okay. Woo. Sorry about that. No, you're good. Here. Can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> he's big, but his will has been broken because he's coming to 
coming to the boat. Don't stop believing. I think a pirate's life is for me. I'd say he's probably about like the others, maybe. I don't know, it's hard to tell. He's coming in pretty good. Don't stop believing. Wait, I don't want to get his copyright struck. Here he comes. Who wants to do the honors? I need you to flick my fish, Dan. I'm gonna flip your tuna. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here he comes! Yeah! Ooh. It was a good one, actually. Yeah. yeah. He's heavier. He's the heaviest one so far. Nice. Good job, tuna. Well done, tuna. For that, we're gonna give you the bucket award. Yes. There's a big fish on up there. Fish on, fish on. That's the big one. Yet. Oh! Wait a minute. Yeah! Damn! Dan's got a screamer! He's still screaming. We might be in trouble here. <laughs> Stop! That's it, he stopped! This guy's coming in weed free, I think. Hey, Jack, are you bringing around a little bit to the left? Yeah. Just so I don't, I don't want to touch those, those props. He's still giving it a little hump. Alright, we're good. Woo! He's spunky. You're gonna whip him in? Nope. Got him. Oh, wait, we caught. What yeah, else? We also caught. Uh, uh, we caught did, some. We oh. Caught, uh, JJ. Yeah. Perfect. All right, no problem. I thought he was up under you. <laughs> That's right. Another nice one. They hit hard, man. There you go. Don't mess around. All right. Pull that through. Um, yeah. Just the plug one. We're getting critical right now. We're getting critical. Oh, critical yeah. Home run. That's the way you do that. That's how you do that right uh, there. Yeah. Perfect. Woo. Well, not 10 minutes later, we end up with another knot. And it's getting late in the day, so at this point, we call it, and we have a nice relaxing ride back to Marathon. You know, maybe having a little beer on the way back, you know? Hey. Yeah. But you know what we did have? A beautiful sunset. I mean, look at that. Oh, man, I'm sorry. I got your shot. You're good. It's a beautiful shot. Even more beautiful with you in it, Dan. Thank you. I thank you so much. Well, that's how you catch tuna back out here with Jeremy uh, again yeah, on Real sure. Hazardous. Make sure you follow him on YouTube, but you guys already know. Bing, bang, bang. You're seeing it right here on the screen. That's the channel. Go follow that. Dan and Dave. <laughs> Florida fishing couple. If you're watching this, you're already following this yeah, channel. That's true. Or you should be. You should be. <laughs> that's right. And if you know Dave, you're already wearing his jewelry. And if you're not, then you got anything to say? No, I'm, I'm all out of words. I'm all out of words. I'm all out too. of words. Okay. We just did three outros to three different YouTube channels. I don't know what to say anymore. <laughs> oh, we're gonna we're gonna link them all together so you'll yeah. see the same show over yeah. and over again. Pretty good. We're doing segments. I'll just do the first part of the day. Bam video just ends abruptly it says go to floor fishing couple he's could I do the catching the part middle yeah <laughs> all the fish are caught yeah, that and then, there you go boom end of the day outros the three outros purely south Florida. there you go all right I'll just do the outro that's the only <laughs> that'd thing be I'll perfect do. all right perfect it's the next morning we got our coffee because that's how we start the day now we're gonna clean some fish Tuna. <laughs> That's juicy. That's a juicy little tuna. Big chunk of tuna. Dude, I would love to catch like a big like 30 pound black spoon. Hey Elliot, come here. Come here, buddy. Come up here. 
I'm about to cook up some tuna for the both of us. Or actually, we're not cooking it up, we're gonna eat it raw. Yeah, Elliot likes it raw. I had the tuna sitting in the fridge for two days now. If you know me, you know I like to cure it in the fridge. I'll talk about that in a second. Makes it taste so much better. Look at all this stuff I got. Lights, tripod. Now there's a cat on the counter, which, you know, we don't... Elliot, Elliot, off the counter. How many times have I told you this? I tell him that four times a day since the day I found him. Doesn't do anything. He doesn't listen. He's already licking his lips. I'm gonna put the camera in the tripod here. If there's anybody that knows how to operate a camera and also knows how to edit footage that lives in like the Keys or Homestead, shoot me an email, heiko at southfordafishingchannel.com. Send me an email. Let's do a day where you come, you film, then you take all that footage home with you, you edit it into a video, and let's see how it turns out. If it turns out good, maybe we can, uh, you know, keep it going. And if it doesn't work out, I'm sure we'll both still have a good time, right, Elliot? Yeah, get off the counter, off down. I can't have your cat hair getting on this food, okay? We got the tuna in here in the bag wrapped in paper towels and we got the cat. Elliot, come with me. All right, you're on timeout, bud. I'm sorry, you're timeout. You're going in the bedroom. Sorry, you gotta go in here. Elliot's locked away, but he'll get a nice surprise when it comes out. Let's unveil the package. Okay, you see that? That's the bloodline. Normally this is like a dark red, but since it's been in the fridge for almost 48 hours, it kind of turns more brown. So what we're gonna do now is just remove all of this bloodline. You can hear Elliot screaming in the room, you hear him? He's begging to get out. <laughs> he actually, I bet he would love the bloodline. I'll probably give him some of the bloodline. So some people will rave about how good fresh tuna is and they'll take a blackfin tuna and cut it up right on the boat, literally right after catching it. And there's nothing wrong with that, but I think it tastes like a little slimy and a little chewy when you eat it fresh on a boat like that. I think when you take your filet of tuna and you put it in the fridge for 12 hours, 24 hours, or even 48 hours, it softens the meat and gets rid of any chewiness and it turns it into like butter. Like this will melt in your mouth. It will literally melt all your problems away. And now I'll just cut this into pieces, maybe like just under a centimeter thick. And I'm putting them on a plate. We're gonna have ourselves some real good tuna here, boys. Some good looking tuna right there. All right. Do I fit in the frame? Nope, I gotta bend down a little bit. This right here is for Captain Elliot. You know what? I'm gonna get him right now. He's been trapped. You ready, buddy? Come on out, buddy. Come on out. This way. Oh my gosh. All right, all right, not this plate. This plate, here, this one. There you go, buddy. We got our tuna here, and we're just gonna flavor it up just a touch. We got some soy sauce. Give it a drizzle dribble, or a drizzle dribble. Dri a drizzle. I'm using paper plates because uh, I don't have any dishes in my house, so for now, paper plates. Ponzu sauce. Those are the two sauces we're gonna use. And now for a little crunch, I like a little crunch with my soft, buttery, melty tuna. So I just take some sesame seeds, roasted, give it a little sprinkle. Black ones, so those are white ones, these are black ones. I love them all, baby. All right, that's looking good. Can y'all see that? Oh! There goes soy sauce all over the table. Okay, okay. Oh, I almost forgot. Almost forgot. Woohoo, yeah, baby, almost forgot. Y'all remember the, uh, the tipsy sponsor that I did a couple videos ago? Well, I still got some of their sake. And you know, I mean, what? I mean, there's, there's Asian symbols on here. There's Asian symbols on the wasabi. I mean, this is starting to feel like we're in a, like Elliot looks like a little black anime cat or something. I don't know, this, this is feeling authentic. 
getting a phone call right now. I should actually, I should take this. It's my buddy from Jamaica. We're doing a Jamaica trip in like four weeks. The same one that Blue Gabe and Kelly Young went on. So that should be fun. <coughs> oh yeah! I wasn't ready for that. For some reason I thought I was drinking water and then it, then it hit me. It was like, that's sake. Yeah, I'm down to do whatever. Put some fish on the on the barbecue, you know. <laughs> yeah, man, we're going to do some of those fishing and stuff like that, and well, that will be a vibe. And then we can do some different different stuff up in the rivers, and you know, we have a lot of wicked stuff we're gonna do, man. All right, sounds good. Just had to work out a couple of details on our. Um... We're doing something really cool. We're actually gonna be bird hunting in Jamaica and then we're also gonna do fishing and stuff but we're gonna go hunting with guns in Jamaica that's gonna be crazy oh can't forget the wasabi let's pick a juicy looking piece this piece I don't know why this piece is calling my name actually they're all calling my name dump it a little bit on the wasabi can you see that You don't even have to chew it. It just melts in your mouth. It's got a little bit of saltiness from the soy sauce. Got a little crunch from those sesame seeds. It tastes like a piece of butter made out of protein. It's creamy and juicy and melty. Mmm. Black fin tuna. I heard it doesn't freeze well. That's why you gotta eat all of it. It doesn't have as high of a fat content as like yellow fin tuna or blue fin tuna. So after you freeze it, it just doesn't taste right. I don't know what, what it is, but black fin tuna, catch it, fillet it, put it in your fridge for one hour, six hours, 12 hours, 24 hours, 48 hours is kind of pushing it, and then have yourself a feast. Hats off to everyone that made it to all the way to the end of the video. Thanks for watching. It was good seeing Jeremy again out on the water after three years since it's uh, since the last time I fished with him. You guys remember that video? I shotgunned a beer and failed miserably. Good times, good times. Now I'm sipping sake like a gentleman. No need to shotgun. Although, yeah, you poke a hole in a beer can, you give it to me, I'm, I'm, I'm probably gonna shotgun it. Hit that like button, hit the follow button if you don't already, because we got more videos coming out. Until next time, cheers.